Welcome to LT Vegan Living. Today I'm going to give you two uh, plant-based burgers. This is a product review on Dr. Prager's it says California Veggie Burger. This one here is Crave House 21 grams of protein plant-based burgers. This was less than fine. I've learned that since I've become vegan now almost seven years that I am really picky about my processed foods and that's what this video is about. Come and see this product review. You can decide for yourself whether you like it or not. I'll be cooking these meals. I'll show them to you. Thanks for your time. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. Okay. So this one here, it says 250 calories, 17 grams of fat, no cholesterol, 390 milligrams of sodium. That's not bad. Total carbohydrate rates are, is 5, 21 grams of protein. It looks delicious. When you open it up, it comes in these pre-shrimp wrapped and there's two uh, patties in each of these. All right. When you cook these up and you eat them, it just tastes a, it's a wonderful burger. But about an hour into the meat processing it, I start getting sick on this. So the ingredients in here are water, pea protein, um, pressed sunflower oil, two types of pressed sunflower, oh, there it is. Expressors pressed coconut oil is your third ingredient. It's got um, vegetable and fruit juice for color, spices, rice bran extract, yeast extract, salt, dextrose, sugar, onion powder, garlic, sugar. Garlic powder. I've had many, many types of Beyond Burger, and just in the last year, I just, for some reason, I just can't handle them anymore. The first few years, the Beyond Burgers were really good. I didn't get sick on them. But lately, they've changed something in them, and I can't, I can't handle them anymore. So basically, I'm not even going to show you how to cook this, because it's a waste of, of time and money. And this is not cheap. I bought this at uh, Sam's Club. I believe it was $11. And there was, uh, let's see how many it tells you. I think there were six of these packages. I'll give you all the information, of course, at the beginning of this video. So watch what I'm doing with this. I'm throwing these in the trash can. And the cardboard is going in my recycling. Let's talk about another one, another processed hamburger. This is Dr. Prager Purely Sensible Foods. It's called a California veggie burger. Sunlight on a bun. Carrots, peas, broccoli, spinach join forces in our original, original and most popular patty. It's got 10 types of veggies, 190 calories, excellent source of fiber. But regardless, let me show them to you. Again, I bought this at Sam's Club. Also, not inexpensive. I think these were more like $13. You can see each, pa each patty is individually wrapped. I've tasted these, so I know exactly what I'm saying here. All right. So it says there are three ways to cook it. 
You could try the oven, which is what I did the last time. You could use it on the skillet, which is what I'm gonna do this time. And you can use it in the microwave, which I don't recommend. When you put it in the oven, it tells you to preheat the oven or a toaster oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the frozen burger on an ungreased baking pan. What I did is I put it on parchment paper. Bake it for approximately 10 minutes per side until eat it through and brown to taste. For me, what it did is basically it thawed itself. And then it was a very flimsy pate. It just basically fell apart in a sense that it just simply let itself go. And when I ate it, it basically, to me, it tasted like just a vegetable mess. I didn't really think it was worth the money that I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of, of thing to do with all the rest of these. For me, this didn't work, but I'm gonna show you tonight how, what it looks like if you cook it in a skillet. Well, for right now, we're just gonna put these back in and we're gonna prepare the skillet for it. It's disappointing when you're buying vegan food that doesn't work. And some of these patties do work, and a lot of them don't. I've been enjoying a lot of the bean pâtés or the pre-made. There are times when I just don't have the time to put my dinner together. And it's just nice if I have something simple. That's why I bought this. Because I knew I was going to be spending lots of time in the garden and I wanted to have some simple, easy dinners. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to cook it and we'll get it started. Okay, this is what you need. You need your patty. I really love this cheese. It's called Go Veggie. It's lactose-free, gluten-free, no cholesterol. I've used it many, many times in many of the types of cooking I've, I've used. For me, it works. It has more ingredients than I would like to have, but it's a trade-off. You'll need a frying pan. You'll need a stove. Oops. You'll need a frying pan or at least a stove. I keep the, the leg off. And then you're going to need a spatula. And then I'm going to read your directions next. We're going to do the skillet. Preheat a non-stick pan over medium heat. Cook burger for approximately six minutes per side until eat it through and brown to taste. Yeah, okay, we'll see if that works. All right, so I'm not gonna use this giant skillet. I'm gonna use this one. We're not gonna use any oil because we wanna make this, well, I use, I just don't cook with oil. So why start now? Okay. I'm gonna show you one skillet cooked this way and the other one with cheese on top. The reason I use cheese on top is because it holds the pate together. So we'll just take, uh, this is really delicious cheese. If you're vegan or you're thinking about going plant-based, you can't go wrong with Go Veggie. It's got 40 calories per slice if you worry about calories, but on my diet, I don't have to worry about calories. Okay, now we set the clock for six minutes. And we're not gonna watch it for six minutes. What I am gonna do is I'm going to let cook it. A timer will tell me when to flip it. I'll show you when I flip it. All right, so that's six minutes. We'll turn it off. Flip up, this is the side I peaked at. See, nice and brown, that's the way I like mine. So that's really perfect. And we're gonna put the cheese on this one over here. Practically melting in my hands. Get up a little bit. Boy, this is gonna make a mess. You know what, we're going to put the cheese on the other one too. 
because it's not going to be flipped anymore. And then you reset the timer to five. Okay, and we're just going to pull this off. It's been out too long, so now it's misbehaving. They call vegan cheese. Okay. Now we have to see. I missed it over there, and it's making a mess in the pan. But you know. Okay, now let me go get a plate. That's the end of the six minutes. Now this is the side we, we peaked on. So let's see what it looks like. See, it looks really nice. Okay, now th I don't know if you noticed, but the hamburgers didn't flip over. They seem to be much more together. When I cooked them in the oven, they, they were falling apart. Now we're gonna test them and eat them. So this is what it looks like when they started. This is what they look like 12 minutes on a frying pan. Let's take this hot frying pan off the counter and make sure we turn off our gas, which I had left on. Now let's test it. So when I had it in the oven, I did not like the taste. I didn't like how it fell apart. There was nothing about this burger that I liked. Cooking it in the in the frying pan with vegan cheese. But the burger is much better tasting. It holds together and it would easily go on a hamburger bun with loads of vegetables on it. So this is a winner. This is good, but still, Dr. Prager, this is vegan by the way, works if you use a skillet pan. It actually is quite good. It resembles a hamburger. It works well in a bun. If you like what you see, subscribe. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up.